Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I'm super excited today because we're talking about 22250 and not only that, but suppressed. If you guys have been around the channel for a while, the question comes up all the time, especially do when we do the live videos. Hey man, what's your absolute favorite bang bang? And guess what? This baby right here is always on that list without a doubt. This is my CVA Cascade. 22250. Like I said, this one is always on the top of my list. This one's got that sweet camo job. It just about blends in behind me. But today, like I said, it's the first time I have ever flung boo lights out of this thing suppressed. CVA Cascades, if you guys have ever asked me, hey, what should I go pick up? I always tell you CVA Cascades. Um, phenomenal boo light slingers. They're absolutely great. If you're interested in more 22250 videos, go check out the channel. Just type in Hootie Hoo 22250. You will probably find 20 or 30 videos on this thing. Needless to say, I love it. But the can I'm going to put on here today, if that'll focus, is my Banish 30 Gold. It's a multi caliber suppressor from Silencer Central. Done quite a few videos on this thing, slung a bunch of different cartridges through it, and today, we are testing out 22250. I think it's going to be awesome, take a whole bunch of the sound out of it. I've already run this can on a 204 Ruger, which is another screamer, and it was awesome. It put a huge smile on my face, so I guarantee it's probably going to do that again today. But let me show you an up-close look at here today. We're going to get right to it, put some over the chronograph so we know the speeds, then we're going to go back and do some fun, just group testing some stuff back at 100 and see what happens. Should be pretty cool. Testing out, seeing what 22250 sounds like suppressed. Should be pretty awesome. Give you guys an up close look here at this thing. That's a pretty sweet camo pattern. On this thing I have a Stierka optic. They went out of business, but when they were in business, they made really good scopes. This one's got 15 zoomies on it. Super, super sweet has uh, I don't know if it's a full bull barrel but it has a, at least a heavy taper barrel on this thing and then that can on there pretty pretty sweet let's go fling some over the chronograph quick all right so real quick story here and my camera I gotta figure out this tripod got a new tripod real quick story here when I first got this CVA 22250 if my tripod will stay still uh, it was right when lots of all the crazy nonsense was happening and there was a shortage on pretty much all things boo lights related. So, right when I got that 22250, I got online. Who's got it? Some random site had 10 or 12 boxes of this stuff. And that was literally the only site I could get find them. I told my wife, hey, this is going to be the rig that my sons are going to be chasing whitetails with. Let's, uh, let's just go and buy all of it. So, I have a stockpile of this stuff right here. 60 grainers. Aguila lead nose. Well, come to find out, it doesn't group that well uh, in that CVA Cascade 22 to 50, which is kind of a bummer. I say not that well. I'm talking about it won't put them in the same hole, which is what I want in everything. But needless to say, we have a whole bunch of this stuff, so that's what we're testing today. This is 60 grain Aguila boat tail hollow point in 22 to 50. So let's run some over the chronograph quick let's just do two uh, but this is the stuff that I picked up for a lifelong supply of whitetail hunting in Tennessee we can deer hunt with 22 250s light recoil for the kids and whatnot but uh, maybe putting this can on it will change the harmonics and uh, maybe this CVA will like it better than it did without the can that'd be cool wouldn't it so let me put two in here We'll get two readings on the chronograph. Let me straighten up my chronograph a little bit. Now, I'll just move this camera instead of straightening up the tripod, the other camera. Man, that thing's goofy, isn't it? For a video guy, I sure don't know how to run these cameras, do I? All right, now, don't run away on me now. Here we go. Let's send two before this camera falls over. First time I've ever tried suppressed 22250. Let's see the speeds here. Ooh, that's a smooth action. 
Don't need 15 zoomies for like two yards. Huh. I didn't send it over the sensors apparently. So let's try that again. What in the world? Hmm. Huh? Let me try another one. I think I'm being too afraid to hit that chronograph. We've done that two or three times already. Let me try it again. Well, let me just get right up on it. I don't know what the deal is. Well, that one read 213. That can't be right. Maybe I'm too close. Let me back up. Yeah. Well, 22250 is just too fast. I can't remember if I chronographed this stuff in the past or not, but let me throw that in if I did. If not, we'll just go back to 100 and do some group testing and checking out the sound on this thing. All right, guys, back at 100 yards. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do a three-shot group with no can. We're going to see what the group looks like with no can, and we're also going to hear how loud this sucker is with no can. Then we're going to put the can on there, see what it sounds like, see how much sound is taken out of it, and see how it groups with the can on there. Also, this will be a cool test. A lot of you guys have been asking me to film a video how something groups and how the point of impact shifts with a suppressor on there. We'll see what happens if it moves the point of impact. So, should be pretty cool. Let's do a three shot group here. Let me put my ears on before I forget. Give it all 15 zoomies. Three shot group with no can first. Alright, so it sat it in pretty good there, isn't it? Two more. It's putting them in there. Maybe my memory is just totally off. Or I just did a terrible job last time. Because so far these are grouping fantastic. I must be losing my mind, y'all. That was pretty near three in the same hole. My goodness, I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm only curious to see what it sounds like. 22,250 suppressed. Here we go. Let's do two three shot groups with the can on there. Man, that's quiet. I'm going to take my ears off. Also, I can tell. That can took quite a bit of the recoil out of it. There's not a ton of recoil in 22250, but man, that was almost like nothing. Looks like it did uh, shift to the point of impact a little bit too. Hey, still putting them in there. Man. That was a bad trigger squeeze, but it looks like it still put it in there. Let's do another one. Man, this thing is sweet with the can on there. No ears. Woo. Makes me happy when we can do those little bit of groups. I brought my calipers today, so we'll we'll measure those real quick at the end of the video. We go down there and look at them. Well, like I said, I got so much of this Aguila stuff, my grandkids would probably be deer hunting with this stuff. I think that went in pretty near the exact same hole, man. So y'all are seeing why I love it. Maybe it was me trying this ammo at 200 yards that didn't group good. Maybe that's what my memory's remembering. I don't know. Let, let's finish this group here. Yeah, baby. That's some of the best groups I've ever got. We've been on a roll this week. Man. Let's go down there and check them out. But hey, 22250. That's a screaming round. We're out here. With no ears on, no problem. Zanging them in there. How about that can's hot now, too? I love it. All right, y'all, walking up. Check out these groups here. No can, that's three hits. Boom, boom, boom. Then with the can on there, three hits real close. And that group, we had two in the same hole, too. Let me grab the calipers and measure those quick. All right, guys, check this out. Super, super impressed. You will guys always ask me how I measure these. It's the best I can eyeball center to center of the furthest hit. So with no can, I got a .34 inch group at 100 yards. I don't care who you are. That's fantastic. 
Then I put the can on there. First three shot group, I got a .517 inch group. Same thing, that's a great group in anybody's book. Then the best group of the day, guys, was right here with the can on it. Our last try there, a .322 inch group at 100 yards. So on my CBA Cascade, putting the can on there, from eyeballing it, it looks like it adjusted the point of impact maybe down about half inch to three quarters of an inch so keep that in mind you put your can on it's not going to hit the same spot especially when you're stretching it out at 300 yards that's probably going to be a more significant difference but hey putting the can on it did not affect the accuracy the average there is probably a little bit higher than that but you guys see 0 0.34 0 0.57 and a 0 0.32 that's probably all just variants of me bumbling around in my squeeze and all that but hey I'm impressed our worst group of the day was a 0.5 that's a good day but there you have it guys quick video I wanted to put my can on my 22 250 and see what it sounded like yeah and that's my banish 30 gold can from silencer central anything 30 cal and under it can handle even up to 300 rum I've got to get my 300 rum threaded so we can test that out to the max. But hey, putting that on the 22250 sounded awesome. Uh, appreciate you guys asking for this video. Suppressed 22250. Going to be a whole lot of fun. Going to do my best to have this one out in the deer woods this year. We'll see what happens. See if I can catch some deers with it. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. Suppressed 22250. I dig it. Appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo-hoo.